A sign posted to the front doors of the Marlboro Hotel say due to maintenance, hotel is out of order. It's not clear if the hotel has been cleared of paying guests or if it's accepting new ones. Police could be seen coming and going while keeping the doors locked. The Marlboro is the focus of an investigation following a viral video of an Indigenous woman surrounded by hotel staff. Her hands were zip-tied behind her back. Over 100 people protested in the main lobby on Sunday. According to the hotel and police, she drew a knife and was charged with assault with a weapon. In the comments section of the video posted on social media, the woman claims they were going to take her downstairs while she was passed out in the restaurant waiting for her brother. Let's go! On Sunday, that comment prompted protesters into the basement of the hotel where they broke through locked doors and lockers. The Marlboro houses members of remote Indigenous communities accessing health care in the city. The Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs says they've ended business with the hotel. And yesterday, the Manitoba Kuwaitanawi Okmakanak says people staying at the hotel could move. A statement reads, the First Nations Inuit Health Branch has approved your move from the Marlboro Hotel effective immediately. The Marlboro has not responded to our requests for comment. Winnipeg police say they are still investigating the incident and will share information as their work progresses. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Winnipeg.